Okay, time to finish up this bench work. Um, basically, what I want to do next is down below, I want to add a shelf, which I have this piece here. It just needs to be cut to the appropriate length. But the first step I have to do is put uh, cross braces and a back piece on. So I had these kind of already pre-cut, though they weren't quite the dimensions that the legs ended up at. So um without wasting your time i went and cut them up to the appropriate size and pre-drilled them so i'm gonna go ahead and attach these and then um i should be able to take a measurement and get the final cut on the shelf board and we should be pretty good to go so i measured the distance based off the top and what I'm going to do is make the back one the flush one. Uh, master woodworker, I am not. Uh, so, I originally imagine the side here, you know, like this, which A puts it on the back side more than I kind of wanted it to, which means the shelf will actually go back further where I wanted the back of the shelf to stop here. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this and I'm going to use my fancy pocket jig and make sort of a brace underneath here um, to give some support to whatever I might put on this and then take one of these spare one by fours that I have back here and trim that and put that here. So there's actually a lip so that things don't slide off the back, especially if I put like my command center, you know, my Digitrex command center here. Um, Cause the other thing I was thinking about doing was getting a small piece of wood or, you know, like a, a two by two uh, sheet of plywood here and putting it here to put any electronics on. Okay, uh, back piece is in, seems really out of focus. And yeah, so hopefully the shelf will just butt right in there and I'll do a cross brace and oh hey little ham. Um, and yeah, uh, on this side I had to use some longer like stainless steel screws because the pile of sheetrock screws I have just wasn't cutting it. So uh, it seems pretty sturdy, it just again uneven floor. Um, so yeah, just have to finish up that shelf and then we can do some cross braces. So I went ahead and cut this down to the length, um, that I need for, to create the under brace, uh, for the shelf. And then I measured the depth of the shelf and you can see the line there, uh, right about, where's my finger? Right there. Um, and so I'm going to try to align this up. Now, I don't know, uh, what I'm going to try to do is make, uh, pocket holes. So I've got this pocket hole jig, which I bought to build a fence. And, um, I don't know if you guys have ever used one of these, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, on the back of this, uh, let me see. You can see that it's set to three quarter, uh, inch. And because that's the depth of my wood, and um, also you move this little collar to the size three quarter because the other piece I'm drilling into is I mean, it's also three quarter. Um, so, what that will do is drill two pocket holes down, and then I can screw them into, into this.
So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And then I just need to cut the shelf to length and mount it to the top. And then I think we're done. have to mount it. Okay, so despite this being a square cut, um, maybe I cut the other end, but anyways, despite this being the shelf being square, um, it fits in the back and there's like a quarter to uh, almost half an inch uh, on that side and on the other side, there's overhang. So basically the legs aren't that straight. Um, I don't know if that's because I used crappy one by threes or what the case may be, but um, it ain't perfect. Um, it'll do. And I'm probably not even gonna screw this down. If anything, maybe I'll put one screw in the front. Um, only because I don't wanna have to take out a gazillion screws to take this thing apart to move it. Um, Cause I'm gonna have to take it apart to get it out of my basement um so yeah i think we're done um i hoped i hope i gave you guys some ideas um if you have any comments please be nice about my woodworking um be sure to leave them down below be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel click the little bell so you get notified when I update. I try to update pretty regularly, once or twice a week. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of the module here. I'll just 